What's up guys? Happy Friday. Welcome back to the Poker Blog. This is going to be episode number 47. Today I have some hands to share with you from the win 2-5 game and then I uh, took a dinner break and then went to South Point. This was last Friday. So let's just jump right in, get to the hands and we'll catch you at the end of the video. All right, we start the day with the daily $230 buy and late registered into that. That was one goal this year to play more tournaments. Now that I'm off Friday, probably going to try this win tournament. So we bust that at about 330 jump into the cash game and our first playable hand is 7-9 suited. I'm in the low jack and open for $20. Next player, the high jack, immediately tosses out a raise to $75. Action folds around to me. I'm going to defend here. We're both deep. So I go ahead and make the call. We go heads up to a flop that brings 10 jack 5, 1 club, 2 hearts. We flop a gut shot and backdoor flush draw. I go ahead and check it over to him. He continuation bets for $125. I'm going to peel one here. I feel like I could maybe steal this one on future streets, and who knows, we might bink the eight. So I go ahead and make the call. The turn is not great. It's a queen of hearts, but when I check to him, he checks it back. So that's great news. feel like he's never going to check a flush in position there. River is no help. Six of clubs, so we have nine high. Our plan was to possibly steal this one with some runouts, so I think we have our chance. I go ahead and fire out a large bet of $350 representing that flush. He goes into the tank for quite a while before finally letting it go. I like the large bet there. I probably could have went a little smaller, but with my big hands, I can make a large bet and possibly get paid the max. And with my bluffs, it's helping him get through. So nice pot to start the session. Next, we look down at a pretty one, 10 jack suited on the button. We see a limp from under the gun, plus two opens for 20, and one player calls in between. I'm going to go ahead and just make the call here in position against some early aggression. I would hate to three bet and then get blown off the hand, so I go ahead and call. And here comes the big blind with the squeeze to $130. Under the gun player folds, and the next two players who had 20 and both make the call. So we got a Big pot developing here. I'm in position. I think I must see a flop here with 10 jack suited. So I go ahead and call the 110 more. We're going four ways to a flop that brings ace, 10, deuce with one heart, two clubs. So we flop middle pair and some backdoor stuff. The big blind checks, next player checks, and the player I was least expecting to fire on this board, I was thinking I was going to get a free one here, fires out a bet of $200 and actions on me. Would love to continue here, but can't do it here with two players behind. I go ahead and let this one go. And the big blind and the other player fold as well. So we're going to move on to the next one. Next, we look down at another pretty one, ace-queen suited from the low jack. We see a raise from under the gun. He opens for $15. Action folds over to me. I put in the three bet to $50. And here comes the hijack with the cold four bet to $125. So a small four bet. The original raiser lets it go and actions back on me probably five bet here i do have some history with this opponent so i go ahead and just make the call here i feel like um ace queen suit is going to play a little bit better after the flop so 75 more i make the call we go heads up to a flop that brings ace 10 six all hearts i check it to him he says checks good the turn brings an eight of diamonds i feel like we probably have the best hand here can maybe get some value from say jacks with a jack of hearts maybe kings king of hearts so i lead for 100 dollars, and he does make the call River is not great. It is the king of diamonds. I feel like not much worse is going to call me here. So I go ahead and just check this one, maybe keep some bluffs in, and he does check it back, and we're going to win with ace-queen. We slide over one seat and look down at pocket eights from the low jack position again, getting some nice hands today from the low jack. We see a raise from under the gun to $15. Action folds to me, and I make the call. Cutoff, button, and small blind all join in as well. So we're going five ways to an amazing flop. Ace, eight, seven, rainbow. Action checks to the original raiser who makes a bet of $30. I feel like he probably has an ace here to be leading into four players. So I'm going to stick in a raise here with three players behind. We got a lot of hands like nine, 10, five, six, possibly six, nine. So I'm going to make these draws pay and hopefully ace king sticks around. So I take it up to $100. We see a cold call from the button, and it folds to the original Razor who makes the call. The original better, the under the gun player, looked a little confused after making the call. So hopefully we're against some strong hands here. Glad I got some money in on the flop. So we're going three ways to a complete blank. Three of hearts on the turn, just what we wanted to see. 
First player checks. I'm going to go ahead and continue with a large bet here, make them pay. We have a flush draw out there as well. And I figure if the button has a set of sevens or maybe like a seven, we can uh, get a lot of money in. So I make it 325 to go. She goes into the tank for quite a while here on the button, lets it go. And then the under the gun player immediately lets his hand go. So maybe we were up against a few draws there. I would have thought under the gun player might have thought for a little bit if he had ace king so we want a nice pot there with middle set next we look down at ace jack offsuit from the big blind we see three players limp so when action gets back to me i take it up to forty dollars don't mind taking down the fifteen dollars or getting it heads up so i make it forty but we get two callers so we're going three ways out of position to a flop that brings ace ten eight with a couple of diamonds so pretty good flop Unfortunately, we don't have a diamond, so I go ahead and take the lead for $70. Next player, the lady I was involved with last hand, puts in a little more than a min raise, makes it $155, and the next player folds. So action's back on me, kind of a weird spot because earlier she checked min raise like this and she had it. But I don't feel like I can let this one go for $85 more. I think I can see a turn and evaluate. We have some backdoor straight draws. So I go ahead and peel one here, make the call. The turn is good, it's the queen. So now we pick up a double gut shot. We can hit the nine or king for a straight. So when I check it to her, she goes huge though. Makes it 400 on the turn. Not gonna be able to continue there. She's repping like maybe a hand like I had, a set of eights on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. And we lose a couple hundred dollars there with ace jack. Next, another beautiful hand, ace queen suited on the button. We see a raise from under the gun plus one. He opens for 15. Action folds over to me. I want to put some more money in here with a nice hand in position. I make it $50 to go. And here comes the big blind. She cold calls with only 150 behind. So a little surprising. She just didn't get it all in. And the original raiser makes the call. So we're going three ways to a flop that is nice. Jack nine deuce with two hearts. So two overs and nut flush draw. We're never going anywhere. Action checks over to me, I bet $75. She quickly folds and the under the gun player knows I must be pretty strong if I'm willing to get it all in with her. So he lets it go and we take down a little pot. Next, we look down at a pair of fives from the hijack position. Action folds over to the player on my right who opens for $20. So I go ahead and make the call and we see calls from the cutoff, the button and the small blind. So here we go, five ways to another great flop. 10, 5, 4, but all hearts, so a pretty wet board here with five players in. Action checks over to the original Razor, who makes a bet of $40. I definitely want to stick in a raise here. Three players behind. We don't want all the straight and flush draws in for cheap. Got to charge them, so I take it up to $130 to go. We're going to find out right now who has a hand. Action does fold around immediately to the original better, who open folds a 10, so... Unfortunately, he didn't have like ace 10 with the ace of hearts. We could have got a lot of money in there, but happy to just take it down now and win a nice pot with middle set there. That's going to do it for here at the win. Going to head over to the South Point, get some hands from over there. We book a small win, $181. Another goal of mine this year is to not sit in bad games for too long. Sometimes you can wait them out, maybe get some new players in, but that wasn't the case here. So going to head over to the South Point and get some hands over there. All right, to the South Point where we grab 600 in chips, a shot, and a beer. We're ready to splash around in the 2-3 game. I go ahead and take my first hand up to $20. There's a $6 button straddle on. Not even recommended to play this hand, but I'm coming in to give some action. So I make it 20, middle position calls, and the button straddler calls as well. We're going three ways to a flop that brings ace, 10, 7, rainbow, one heart. I check this one. We have eight high, some backdoor draws. Next player checks. And here comes the button with a bet of $35. Right after he made the bet, he kind of cleared his throat and looked away, seemed a little uncomfortable. I kind of sensed that, so I think it's a good spot to put in the check raise here with air. Um, this is a board that shouldn't really have hit the button straddler very often. I'm the early aggressor, so I can have some check raises here with some big hands. So I make it $130 to go. Next player folds, button thinks for a few, and lets it go as well. So start off with the bluff over here at South Point. <laughs> Next, we look down at a little bit better of a hand, ace-jack offsuit from the hijack. We see a limp from under the gun, middle position player makes it 15, and two players make the call. I'd rather just fold or three-bet this hand multi-way, so I decide to put on some pressure. I make it $70 to play, 
and action folds back around to the original razor who makes the call. So we're going heads up to a flop that brings 10, 10, 4, rainbow. He checks it over to me. I bet about half the pot, 90 bucks. He thinks for a little bit and lets this one go. So the aggression is paying off early. Next, we look down at pocket nines from middle position. The $6 under the gun straddle is on this time. Action folds over to me and I make it $20 to play. One player calls in between and action goes to the cutoff who makes it $100. Folds to the straddler who jams for $260. This is a pretty easy lay down here, but let's see what happens. I let this one go. Action's back on the button. Let's hear his thoughts. Not sure if you could hear him. He was worried about being dealt a cooler, is what he said there. Um, I just thought maybe he was posturing a little bit here. Maybe he got caught uh, stealing, but it's only like another 160, so you almost have to call with anything. He eventually calls, and it's pocket kings, so I'm not sure what the delay was on this one. He thought for like a minute before calling the 160. He asked if he has aces. The other guy shows one ace from the straddle, so it's obviously not aces. He's not going to slow roll him like that. Um, and kings are going to hold on this board. Aces? No, there's no way he has aces. He would. That'd be brutal if he did that in terms of the. Uh, he's not that kind of guy. <clears throat> Next, we look down at the ugliest ace you can have: ace six offsuit from the hijack. When action folds over to me, though, I take it up to $15 to play. I feel like I don't have to worry about getting 3-bet very often at this table. Next player makes the call of 15, and the other players fold. We're going heads up to a good flop, ace, 7, 9 with a few clubs. We have top pair, but it's such a marginal hand. I feel like we're either crushing him or way behind, so I just check. Let's see what he wants to do. He makes it $20 to go, and I make the call. Turn brings a 9, pairing the board. It's a good card for him, but less likely he has one, so I check. And he continues firing for 45. I make the call. I feel like we're ahead of some draws that are out there. Some flush draws and straight draws. River is a jack of clubs. Maybe the worst card in the deck. Um, completes 8-10. Completes the flush. So I check. And he does represent it. He bets $90 on the river. I just pay it off. Maybe he has an ace and we're chopping. I call. But we see good news. We win against 6-8. So we pick up a nice pot there with a piece of garbage hand. Next, we look down at a real ace, ace-queen offsuit from the cutoff. The $6 under the gun straddle is on this time. Action folds over to me. I make it $20 to play. We get calls from the small blind and the straddler. So we're going three ways to an absolute dream flop. Ace-queen, eight with two clubs. So we got top two pair and the ace of clubs. Got the board pretty locked up here. Action checks to me. I keep it small with a bet of $20. And the small blind comes along. The straddler gets out of the way. So heads up to a six of clubs on the turn. It's a pretty good card. We have two pair and the nut flush draw now. And the small blind wants to lead out this time for $30. Super small bet. I'm going to go ahead and just flat this one. Don't see any sense in raising here. We have the board completely locked. The river is a total blank three of spades. He keeps it really small with another bet of 35. Maybe it's just a weak ace. Um, so I feel like I need to raise here. I go ahead and make it $110. We know he can't really re-raise since we have the ace of clubs. So I make it 110, hoping to get value from whatever he has. One pair, maybe two pair. But he does quickly let this one go. There was one big hand wrap where up I this four bet jammed session on a guy with three. I actually went to the three five game, player. guys, but it got short. Of course, this time he has really pocket quick, aces, so I kind of so put the camera unlucky, away. It's hard to vlog handed to run four into aces there. But in the three five, stuck out on that one. So that was the big pot we lost over there. Booked a small loser overall on the night. We picked up like one eighty at the win and a hundred bucks in the two three game after losing a hundred in the one two game. So uh, not a terrible night overall. So stick around to the end. We'll go over what we lost total and stay to the end for a cool trick shot. All right, that's a wrap from episode number 47. Hope you guys enjoyed all the hands. Sorry I couldn't bring you along for the 3-5 game that night. We got shorthanded, forehanded about 20 minutes after I uh, got in the game. So it's just too hard to vlog 
real short like that, I'm going to be playing way more hands and need to stay focused. So, uh, but I did say the one key hand was when I jammed with the Ace Five suited and uh, got called by Aces. That was a, a big one, cost me almost 700 bucks. But all said and done on the night, I only lost $220, so not terrible considering uh, that hand that I didn't need to get crazy with. But oh well, it happens. Um, but I did have a great session yesterday. I went and played for a couple hours during the day and uh, lost 150 in the 2-3 game, then jumped in the 3-5, and the one big hand was, I had pocket sevens, there was a couple limpers from early, I made it 25, two players called 25, and the under the gun man, under the gun man, the older, uh, uh, older gentleman under the gun, he's probably over 65, he limp raises to 150, so we all know it's pocket aces, and, uh, I look at his stack, I thought he only had 600, so I was gonna let it go, but he had a stack of black. So he had about 1300 to start the hand. So I figured, ah, this is worth it. If I flop a set, I'm probably gonna get all of it. And it was great because that's exactly what happened. It comes queen, seven, six, two diamonds. He leads for 200, I make it 500. He calls, now I know he's committed. Turn is an eight, so it's pretty ugly. Actually for aces, it's queen, six, seven, eight. He checks, I put them all in for I think he had like six, 650 left, and he calls it all off with aces. So we hold, won a massive pot yesterday. So doing good so far in the year, up about 700 bucks for January after being stuck, about 600, I think. So uh, not a bad start. Um, so that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed all the hands from today. Stay tuned for the next one and stay to the end for a trick shot. Last video, I forgot to add one, but here's an old one. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching, guys. Come on.